We're Carlo and Nikki, and we live in Positano, Italy. Our house is far from the road, but it overlooks the sea and we grow our own food. We show you what it's really like living year round on the Amalfi Coast. So please subscribe and welcome to the Positano Diaries. In September, we bought a house with olive groves in Tuscany. We're not abandoning Positano or selling our house there. We'll be going back and forth throughout the year. But for now, for the next couple of months, we'll be renovating in Tuscany. We hope you join us for this new adventure. We've come to this other second hand place to see if we can find a kitchen sink. And I think we found one. It's the best of a bit, like that. Yeah. <laughs> Can't beat that, can you? That'll do. That'll do for, the, for a few months. Poi magari lo useremo per il giardino quando arriverà la cucina nuova. Yeah, it's perfect. Right, let's get it. Let's see what else we can find. Yeah, I think I found the perfect table, and you won't believe the price. Look at the legs. In a real time. <laughs> that's good. Oh my god. I was like when I saw him, then I looked and I'm like, oh my god, that's the person I used to watch before I moved to Italy. <laughs> oh my god. Sei stata riconosciuta, amore. Incredible. <laughs> nice meeting you. You too. Sì, è un bel tavolo. Dai, prendiamolo. Quanto costa? 20 euro. Wow, it's perfect. <laughs> I've also just seen a trunk that I really like. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but it's just a nice old wooden trunk. Great for blankets. A bit more expensive. It's 80 euro, but I think I'm going to take that. Hi. These are good. Per 21 euro each. Oh, okay, yeah, we'll get them. <laughs> this is easy. Yeah. Li prendiamo? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Sono belli questi. And I've also found this, and there's another one there, so you can put them together and you've got three, which would be great in a bedroom or separately in two bedrooms. 40 euro for all of it. Well, all I can say is I hope they deliver. Look at this. So two bedside tables chest of drawers and a bed, all 50 euro. Wow. Non so se c'è posto a casa per questo, ma mi piace da impazzire. È bello? Bello, bello, bello. Ah, è bello, sì. Bello. Vogliamo chiedere quanto costa, non c'è il prezzo. Sì, chiediamo. Ok, so we've done really well. We've got a kitchen sink, we've got a table, We've got the double chair and the single chair that goes with it. We've got two bedside tables. And now we're going to ask the price of this big thing here. And they're going to bring it all this afternoon. So exciting. We asked about that um, piece of furniture. <laughs> what is it? It's not a chest of drawers. It's not a cabinet, I suppose, a cabinet. We asked about the cabinet, but the owners who are selling it, not the shop, the owners want 700 euros. So it's a little bit out of our budget. Um, I've already had my debit card blocked. So in Italy, with your bank debit card, you're only allowed to spend 2,000, well, we're only allowed to spend 2,500 a month, and then we're not allowed to spend any more. And I've arrived at that limit already, so I can't spend any more this month. It's ridiculous. No, ma, ma vedi, questo nasce di base così, poi lo puoi alzare il limite. Yeah, I might have to call the bank, because I've got money in my bank and I'm not allowed to use my own money. I find that just wrong. Anyway, we are now going to back home because we've got deliveries arriving. So I did eventually drive 40 minutes to get to the nearest branch of my bank and I thought I'd be able to get some money out there, but it turns out it was a cashless bank, something I'd never heard of before. What next? Meatless butchers and beerless pubs? Who knows? I think this is my stuff from England. So Paul has just driven all the way 
over from England with a van full of stuff. And this is what he does. He brings people's things from England. This is for you. Here, that's yours. Nobody knows how to do packages better than my dad. I'm trying to undo this without cutting all the string because we don't have any string, so this could come in handy. I think it's going to take me rather a long time. More packaging. Very busy day. We have oh, another yeah. delivery arriving. I think this is the bathroom sinks. It's going to be a strange job, and it's forty. Tell me, è vero che non mi guardi più, amore? Perché? Tu non mi guardi. Sto girando con sto coso appeso qui là. I've been looking for that for about half an hour. Eh, vedi? Tu tu mi devi osservare di più. Non mi guardi più. There's so many other things to look at at the moment. Adesso sto facendo il montatore Ikea. Yeah. Guardate qui che divertente. We've got our Ikea delivery, our bathroom sinks have arrived and now we've got to try and put them all together. Sono sempre... Sei diventata più brava di me, amore. The third delivery of the day has arrived and this is our stuff from the um, second-hand market. It's the table, the bench, the bedside tables and kitchen sink and all the things we looked at this morning. God, can you imagine if we were doing this in Positano? What a nightmare to get all this stuff home. I can't believe we got this table for 20 euro. Look at those legs. Yes, I'd buy those legs for 20 euro. Is it a new This table is much better than what I thought. If we give it a little bit, it becomes like a new one. Stunning. With this piece of hand, I think it's going to start to stack. We are still modifying the um, extraction fan. We've decided to cut it short where it attaches to the wall because it doesn't need to be that long. And it frees up some wall space where we can maybe put some shelves or something. We don't really know what's behind it, so we're going to find out now. Today is moving day. Today we are moving out of the house that we've been renting for the last 12 days and we're going to go and sleep in the house. We have no bathroom sink still. We have no oven, no fridge, so I'm not quite sure how we're going to manage. We've got one bathroom sink downstairs, it's a little one, so we'll be fine, we've got water. But yeah, we can't cook yet, but we do have an oven arriving today. But we've got the paint to paint in the kitchen today, so the oven probably won't be installed till tomorrow. So today I'll have to go to the supermarket and buy some food that is just very easy to prepare. Um, it's cold enough that we don't have to worry about a fridge, we can just leave everything outside. <laughs> and I'm very excited. I can't wait to sleep in my new bed, which is exactly the same as my old bed, and, and just be there and have everything there. It's getting, it's getting awkward now because we've got half of our stuff there, half of our stuff here, and I get back here, like last night I forgot my bag, 
and I haven't got my tripod, so my phone is 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 leaning on a book. It's probably about to fall. Um, and yes, we'll just keep forgetting things in the other place and keep having to drive back and forth. So it'd be nice to just be there and not have to go back and forth the whole time. Very excited. So we're here, we're at the house and we are moving in, <laughs> whether we're ready or not. And we're really not very ready. Carlo is currently cleaning the kitchen sink. This is our kitchen sink that arrived yesterday. 25 euro, absolute bargain. Needs a bit of love and attention. And the middle, the middle skiff also. <laughs> but it'll get us through the next couple of months. <laughs> and this is what we're dealing with. So this is our lovely kitchen. So we do have an oven arriving hopefully this afternoon, but it might not be attached and up and working hopefully tomorrow. So today I've had to go and think about food that we don't have to cook. So I've been to the supermarket and I've got some options. I've got, first of all, obviously bread. I've got two ciabatte, which we can fill with various things. I have some orange juice, salad. So I've got mixed salads already chopped because I don't have chopping boards and I don't have a grater and a knife. And I've probably got things like that in the stuff I got from England, but I'm not sure where. So ready-made salad, ripe avocados that can go into it. I've picked up, oh, this was two little zucchini omelettes, just little ones. So that's nice. We might have them now for lunch because they're still warm. A ready roast chicken, of course, always a great standby. Tomatoes for that salad. Chocolate mousse <laughs> for later. I've got prosciutto and smoked cheese for the sandwiches. Second option for the sandwiches, Philadelphia and smoked salmon with salad, tomatoes. So I reckon I've covered all of our bases for about three meals. At least we've got a table. Imagine it, something I've ever been to have. Stop mangiando in piedi. Or in macchina. Dai, macchina no. Poi mangiate il polvo in una macchina. So che chiavi che devo fare. Carlo has left me to clean the inside of this sink and it is pretty disgusting, really disgusting. But what do you expect for 25 euro? Big delivery just arrived. We now have a washing machine, a tumble dryer and an oven. I am very excited about all three of them actually because we haven't washed any clothes for 12 days. A few weeks ago in Positano, we had a new washing machine delivered to us and we decided to film it and then film this washing machine being delivered to us here to show you the difference and how much easier it is here, even though you can probably guess, but I thought it'd be fun to show it. So this is a washing machine here being delivered. That's my oven, how exciting. How exciting. I might even get to use it today and reheat the chicken. And this is the washing machine. This is what we want to compare the difference between deliveries here and deliveries in Positano. If you've recently joined us here on YouTube, you may not know that our house in Positano is nearly 500 steps from the road. So getting deliveries, especially heavy ones, is a bit of a nightmare and a lot of hard work. We have this step climbing machine. In Italian, it's called a carrello, and it can carry heavy loads up and down steps. 
The only thing is that it's really heavy to use. I don't have the strength to use it at all. And even Carlo says that after using it, he aches all over. First of all, he has to take the carello out of the basement and across the obstacle course that is our garden. He then has to steer it up the steps to the road where our deliveries are dropped off. It takes about half an hour to go up. Then he has to secure the load, in this case a new washing machine, with ropes and blankets. Once he's sure it won't fall out, he can start going back down to the house, which takes another half hour. Se qualcuno si dovesse chiedere come mai vado a marci indietro, è per questo, è una questione di bilanciamento. Quando scendo col carrello, io da qui posso mantenerlo. Se scendo da quell'altra parte, non posso mantenerlo perché quando il carrello va a sporgere lo scalino, mi si lo tollerà e mi schiaccerà e mi ammazzerò. Questo è molto più sicuro, anche se non sembra. Meanwhile, back in Tuscany, I'm trying to get to grips with how to assemble a bathroom sink unit. Amore, puoi aprire un attimo la fontana? Ta -da! Yay! Non c'è nessuna perdita funziona. Ok, adesso dobbiamo montare i cassetti. E speriamo bene. It's getting very cold outside. The temperature has dropped about 10 mm. degrees at least. Almeno ci abbiamo il frigorifero fuori. Yeah, uh, yeah, because we don't have one inside. So we're keeping the fire nice and lit and the house is actually really warm. We've just brought the kitchen sink in. It actually fell to pieces as we brought it in and Carla is now trying to fix it. It's decidedly wonky and decidedly rotten, but hopefully it will last for a couple of months. È davvero un sink di merda. <laughs> so look at how much progress we've made today. We have a working kitchen sink, even though it's falling to pieces. We have an oven that's not working yet, but might be soon. Sì. E forse abbiamo anche la cucina. Vediamo un po' se funziona. Yay! Yeah! Possiamo anche cucinare adesso. Wow! That's a game changer. And we have Happy Puppies. This is my other 80 euro sofa, exactly the same as the first one. And Holly is down there in her bed from England. The food is there, the kettle has not found a home yet. And dinner awaits. For dinner tonight we have tuna salad. Tuna and avocado salad. Ah, I can't wait for the first sleep in our new bed. Bye night. It is Sunday. We are taking a break from working on the house and we're gonna go out and explore the valley down below and see what's there. I know that there's a pathway leading right down and from what I can see on the map, it looks like there's a loop that comes up back again the other side. So we're going to go and see if we can find the pathway and see if it's a good walk to do with the dogs. Who knows? I'm ready. Let's go. You can understand the food. lovely here. I'm enjoying it so much. We have found a forest of bamboo. This could come in useful for something. There's loads of it here. 
Cosa hai visto? It's a well. Un pozzo. Yeah. Ma dove? Io mi vedo niente. Open. Ah, sì, è un pozzo. Sì. Mettiamo qualcosa dentro, vediamo quanto è profondo. Per la miseria, saranno almeno 10 metri. Sì, è pericoloso. Non è possibile che nel mezzo del niente ci deve essere qualche casa o c'era una casa, una fattoria qui da qualche parte. Aspetto che compro meglio qui, eh. Sì? È una casa quella, io vedo solo verde. Ah sì, c'è un muro lì. Andiamo a vedere. Adesso si vede molto meglio. Questa è una casa. Wow. Deve essere molto vecchia. Ah, però quei mattoni lì, quelli sono mattoni forati, quelli lì. Quindi questa è stata un'aggiunta fatta dopo. Non c'erano 300 anni fa i mattoni forati. Ah, ah, anche il tetto. Il tetto è fatto sempre con i mattoni forati e le travi di metallo. We think we've arrived down in the bottom of the valley. And there's a very clear pathway. It's just what I was hoping for. It's cold down here. I think it frosted last night. We don't get frost in Positano, so something that we're not used to. But yeah, it's definitely still frosty here. Look at this. I wonder what these trees are. It's all sculptured. Very pretty. Questi fanno sul serio, non sono, sono qualche cacciatore che a volte si incontra da noi. Questo era vestito come un cacciatore, con un grande fucile. Bisogna stare attenti qui, eh. I was just gonna say, a Sunday I wonder if there's any hunters around. And there are. Siccome qui ci sono tanti cinghiali, sicuramente andava a caccia di cinghiali, ma magari poteva anche cacciare qualche tipo di uccello, non lo so. Di sicuro adesso la stagione della caccia è aperta, quindi possono andare a cacciare. Wow. We're back on a little road. These in Italy are called Strada Bianca, white roads, which means that they're unpaved, but you can drive along them if you've got a vehicle that's good enough. Non ha niente di bianco questa strada. <laughs> in realtà è scura, è nera. Ma si chiama Strada Bianca, non lo so perché. <laughs> And we've just actually found two hiking signs. So we're on a hiking trail now. We're on an actual hiking trail. And there was another one going off in that direction, which we will discover another time. I'm really pleased. I didn't realize any of this was literally underneath our house. We don't even have to go out on the road. This is just perfect. Wow. Che bello questo campo wow, verde. Wow, look at this, amazing. Oh wow, I didn't expect to see this at all. Everything Tuscan in one view. We've got bales of hay, we've got houses with cypress trees, we've got blue skies and green fields, mountains and hills in the distance, and even an Italian man <laughs> and olive groves. I am. And now, just to complete it, we found some vineyards with a view. Oggi è domenica e abbiamo voluto prendere questo giorno di pausa perché sinceramente da quando siamo in Toscana non abbiamo avuto un momento libero abbiamo dormito molto molto male perché avevamo un sacco di pensieri nella testa e tutti questi pensieri ma non erano in realtà importanti ma 
erano tutte cose che dovevamo fare quindi andavamo a dormire con la testa piena di idee di cosa dovevo fare il giorno dopo e programmi e adesso siamo riusciti finalmente a avere un letto nella casa siamo riusciti ad avere una cucina uh, possiamo, <ride> possiamo lavare i piatti e quindi niente adesso siamo nella nostra casa e siamo un po' più rilassati yeah, we've had two nights sleeping in the house now and it's lovely to be there full time it feels a bit more like it's ours now because before we were visiting and then going going away in the evening and now we're staying there the whole time and it's starting to turn into a home slowly and it's such a lovely exciting thing to do sì adesso dobbiamo andare perché Maria e Lorenzo vengono a trovarci a vedere i nostri progressi yeah. e penso che siamo anche un po' in ritardo yeah so we need to go and climb the rest of the hill and get back home And we got back just in time because Marie and Lorenzo have arrived. Stancando, vero? We're testing out the curtains. Mamma mia, sono pesanti, eh? Sì, sono bellissimi. Sono bellissime. Sì, sì. Meno male che c'è Maria e Lorenzo, così possiamo fare il test della tenda. <ride> Lorenzo, sei troppo in alto lì, non ci arriviamo col bastone lì. Scendi un po'. Scendi un po'. E poi prendi la misura giusta. Fammi vedere. Sì, va bene, sembra che va bene proprio. Sì, sì, giusto, è giusto, è giusto. È giusto. Bellissima. 